This is Before It Was Headlines, It Was Prophecy. I'm Katie Elizabeth. I'd like to talk to you just to, for a few minutes about our last weekend and the um, reported heightened terror, or the heightened alert for a potential terrorist attack. I look at this a little differently now, and I've, um, I want to share this. Now that we have officially declared good is evil and evil is good and perversion is love and love is hate and you know we we really come at almost not fully yet we're not there yet but we are really gaining momentum in coming to fulfill this um, passage in Isaiah out of Isaiah 5 and I so now that we are officially calling good evil and evil good and bittersweet and I look for the continuing collapse of this nation to be incrementally subtle rather than a big terrorist event such as 9-11 or the big financial collapse of the housing and bailout. I could be wrong. But we've chosen to disregard the large warnings. You know, the signs of judgment, the call to repentance, we've, we've opted to not do that. Since 9-11, we've declared unnecessary wars, our morality has plummeted, and church is now preaching kind of a feel-good here. We, don't, we want you to feel good about the decline of your life. And, you know, a few of them are still preaching prosperity, I guess. I don't know. But the point is, we've continued to... Our, our society has continued to degenerate rather than repent and turn. And I truly believe that 9-11 was our last call, our last warning call to repentance. And it was really frightening that um, at that point, rather than, you know, I mean, we all prayed for about a week or so, you know, the gatherings. But the reality is we declared war through Sukkot. We didn't repent on Yom Kippur. We didn't do any of those things that are not Jewish holidays. They are feasts unto Yud Hei Vah Hei. They are set apart days by our Creator. So let me go on with this just a little bit because I'm really not going to... I typed up and prepared what I thought was going to be the video and then once I got it all finished I felt a real leading to go another direction. So I'm just going to read this first paragraph, and then I'll leave it there. I truly believe we're going to find our world caving in under us. Our society is just, it, it has continued to erode. And when we didn't know the difference between a blessing and the mercy of our Creator, our society has continued to erode. And I really believe the line in the sand is going to become a huge chasm in which most everything we've known caves in. But I believe it's going to happen very, very incrementally and it's going to seem isolated, just like our, just like our headlines do now. You know, we can, we saw the racial issues in Ferguson and then, um, Right up, Dallas had an issue, and South Carolina had an issue, and you know we see those in different places. We saw the Bundy Ranch last year in the Bureau of Land Management, and then we see before um, the Supreme Court, long before the Supreme Court ruling, we saw. Well, as a matter of fact, the couple who have now had their entire lives and business destroyed targeted and destroyed, targeted, bullied, and destroyed by someone crying victim, two people crying victim. Anyway, this couple in Oregon, this whole problem started before same-sex marriage was even legal in Oregon. So we see, and that was in 2013, we see how much momentum has been gained by that particular agenda. And then in Minnesota, middle schoolers, junior high schoolers were taken to some sort of a sex adult toy store or whatever. Very inappropriate. 
we see that um, either Virginia or West Virginia is changing their curriculum now. So the confusion can be introduced much younger to the children in public schools. The bill against folks who would rather not vaccinate, and basically that's aimed at religious beliefs as well. So what we're seeing is isolated incidents that may seem, maybe seemingly unrelated and not anywhere close to home, and yet I see it, it's, it is gaining momentum. Just because it seems isolated doesn't mean it's all not going to connect. It will. You know, I was speaking with a friend recently, and I said, I really think what's going to begin happening that we're going to, you know, like there's going to be a city, and I'm not saying it's happening now. I am not, I'm not projecting this. But it would be very easy, say, for um, electronic glitches to just seem very temporary and very unique to the circumstances. You know, if I get up in the morning and I don't have internet, I naturally assume it has to do with my remote location. And there's a glitch somewhere that they're working on. Or there's, you know, weather between that tower and me. You know, I, 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 I have several built-in ideas rather than, oh my, they've shut off my internet. And they have it. But that's in the realm of possibilities down the road. We all know that because other countries have done it. We know that's in the realm of possibilities. We know from Greece it's completely possible to control the ATM and what someone can draw out of them. We know that. It's already in place and possible. We read headlines. So that's what I'm saying is we watch all of these different things that seem very remote from being widespread. We don't know. Because the reality is that it could all be controlled very centrally located and affect a great many people. It just hasn't yet. You know, it would be very easy. I live five miles from a grocery store. I'm not terribly dependent on a grocery store, but a lot of people are. You know, uh, one or two trucks just not coming in at their usual time or not coming in at all. You know, we all read the headlines of Bluebell ice cream ceasing. You know, they're, they're just shutting things down. We read about Walmarts in different places closing. Anything can happen in a moment's notice and seem very isolated, but an, as more and more of those things continue to take place, our society is no longer functioning as it was. And I believe that, that we're going to see more and more and more of that. I truly don't believe, I mean, Yudheva Hay hey, can use an enemy, a physical, geographical, national enemy to, to attack us. That's true. For the judgment we've got coming. Or we may find out his just by the removal of his hand of mercy. We're going to cave ourselves in. It's time for the remnant to truly get serious about living a set-apart life. And if we're going to cherry-pick the scripture, we're going to be standing on the wrong side of the chasm. This has been Before It Was Headlines, It Was Prophecy, I'm Katie Elizabeth.